this liquid nitrogen actually boils. And we want to show you how quickly it can turn to a gas, and we want to show you a couple other fun things about it. We're going to be down here tomorrow, Saturday, March 2nd, with Expo Day, which is the kickoff to the San Diego Festival of Science and Engineering, a week-long series where we bring uh, steam all over the county of San Diego. We're the S-T-E-N-M portion. Science, technology, engineering, and math. We're putting the A in STEAM, arts. We're adding the A in this year. Traditionally, you hear a lot about STEM. Uh, the A really adds a lot of collaboration and curiosity to help uh, the core concentrations of the elements of STEM. One of the things you learn in art is composition, line, and color. Uh, graffiti art is a tremendous example of that innate ability to think about composition, line, and color, and that's how one thing goes with another, how it connects with another. So if you put this into a science industry, um, you can put in data all day long, but if you can't get to what the significance or the meaning is of the parts, then you're just pumping out data. Three, two, two. One. So in San Diego, we have a growing hub here for innovation. We have a ton of scientific companies. So what we're doing down here at Petco Park is really showcasing all of those companies and how they're making an impact and how our students can follow the path through science to be a part of those companies. Learning science is just learning about nature, learning about our surroundings. The more we know about our surroundings, the more we know about ourselves. This week really shows us all the aha moments and we know that when we bring kids down here and they experience those hands-on activities and they're talking to folks that look like them in the industry that they can follow that path. Whether it's during Expo Day or one of our events throughout the week, we're looking for that aha moment and that spark that really just ignites the future of how they see themselves. That cucumber went everywhere.